beautiful people this is me i'm your host and if you're wondering how i achieve this look please keep on watching in this box i have a lot of products from revlon so i can put them into use and the one which i'm missing in order to do a full face using uh, one brand i have replacement from other uh, companies so let's keep going i have two primers from revlon first is their photo ready pore reducing primer and second one it's the prime plus unfortunately this one got discontinued and this one came into its place and because of that i'm gonna use it it's supposed to brighten and even tone okay primer plus brightening plus skin tone evening evening makeup plus skincare primer complex infused with lemon extract and vitamin c and e okay so it comes in a bottle like this with a little pump let me squeeze it okay and uh, let me apply it mm -hmm. because it's a primer I will say the longer you use it, then you're gonna see the benefits because infused with lemon extract, vitamin E and C. I will say if you use this every day before you apply your makeup, then yes, you should see some results. But if you just, let's say, rotating, I will say this is gonna be perform like regular primer. Okay, so that's what I have on me right now. Why my skin is why my skin is gonna come down the redness? I'm gonna show with the foundation. The foundation which I'm gonna be using is the Revlon Age Defying Foundation with SPF 20. Uh, I didn't have any bags for it, so let me read you what I found on their website. Each shade hydrates like a moisturizer, smooths like a serum and preps like a primer. SPF 20 protects its one-stop anti-ager. Okay. Ultimate anti-aging foundation. It's like a moisturizer, serum, primer, wrapped in a colorful bow. Okay, maybe that's why there is a red medium buildable coverage with a natural finish keep skin looking younger longer cut okay spf 20 available in 12 shades 12 shades that's not a lot Let me, here we go so, yes you have a glass bottle with a pump let's see okay it feels light but at the same time it hydrates and you know what i'm gonna show you both hands so you can see the difference so that's what so that's the head with the foundation on that's with our red okay you can already see the difference and also this one has the primer but huh it is a good one as usual i'm gonna apply the foundation on half of my face so in that case you can see how it's gonna look with and without it you know what no instead of using blending sponge let's use the brush and then i'm gonna use the uh, sponge i'm gonna go with the brush it's very light and it spreads uh, fast i have no issues with distributing the product all over my face <laughs> You can already see the difference between one and the other half of my face. I'm gonna avoid the eyes because I'm gonna put their concealer. I have the foundation on this side of my face. I use the brush and a sponge. I'm sure I can apply another layer, but only stick with one. I'm gonna apply the foundation on the other half of my face to make it even. And then let's see how it look. Let's see how it's gonna look right now i have the foundation all over my face and i do like what it did to my skin it gives you like a medium coverage and i'm gonna stick with it i don't want to put too much but it did glide on smoothly and i have no issues with blending and no it didn't cover too much because i can still see okay it did cover but it doesn't give you a full coverage because i can still see my not redness but the pimples but in general i do like what it did to my skin and even now the tones for the concealer i'm gonna use the photo ready concealer in a stick 
Here we go. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with the brush. Just, I'm gonna go with the brush to blend it out. I don't have a highlight. For, I don't have a highlight from Revlon, but I have one from uh, Physician Formula, so I have their butter. I have their butter highlight and also their spotlight, which is supposed to be illuminating primer. This product can easily be used as a highlight because it's so glowy and because it's liquidy it's harder for you to make a mistakes and also you can sheer it out i'm gonna follow up with the powder blush which was recommended by one of the youtubers and i okay why i cannot open this thing and i did video about products or should say products which I bought upon recommendation of other YouTubers so that was one of them and the color is 028 Apricute here we go uh, I think the light thing I think the light I think the light uh, doesn't give the real shade of the blush but whoo okay that's a lot of powder flying i took only a little bit of the product on the blush and you can see the payoff which it gives but i'm gonna shut out a little bit i don't have too many eyeshadows from revlon i have their uh, revlon custom eyes which yes they give you a punch of a color but i don't think they make them anymore i should say i don't think you can buy them anymore so i'm gonna go with one of their cream shadows that's the revlon color stay cream eyeshadow in cognac and it comes with a little brush at the top and it's a creamy eyeshadow i'm gonna use synthetic brush to make it easier because it's a cream you have time to work out the color into your eyelid gonna add some color underneath my eyes the color on my eyes that's the cognac but because okay I could is I could easily stick with this color but I'm gonna add something so it's not gonna be too simple so I'm gonna use this palette but you can easily substitute you can easily use any other shades I'm just using this because it's handy and what can I do up here? I'm gonna put the light and shade and then the brows as a highlight, but also to clear off the edges of the brown shade. I'm gonna put the warmer one a little bit on the eyes as well. Okay, and now it's now it intensified the color. Here we go. Easy easy way to clean up the mess if you have any okay now it's way better uh, let me curl my lashes and I'm gonna apply the mascara oh for the for the brows I'm gonna use their pencil which is the Revlon color stay brow pencil in dark brown so you have spoolie on one side and then pencil on the other so let's make it fast on my brows I have the Revlon brow pencil, on my eyes the Maybelline false lift, yeah lash lift and I powder my face using the Maybelline stay matte. What's left are the lips, so I have the lipstick which are called Revlon Lupa which are called Revlon Super Lustrous, so pretty much it's a lip color with a little bit of shine afterwards and then another product which you can still buy online but it's hard to find in a stores this product it's called revlon hd gel lip color okay uh, let me swatch them all so in that case at least you can see the shades for yourself uh, yeah i can just apply them up here the first shade it's 003 glossa pros okay so it's a neat 
rosy color. I'm gonna follow up by a beaming strawberry. Okay, so this was more, let's say rose. Yeah, this was more more mauvey. This is more pinky. Both of those colors are very wearable. Next color is the glaring coral. Yeah, glaring coral. Huh. Okay, this is more orangey. And then the last one. The last one is nude illuminator. And here we go. Huh. Okay, decisions, decisions, decisions. Those two I already tried them previously. The other, those two in the middle, those are my newer shades. I should say the one which I ordered recently. And then for the stick, this one it's called Desert. So let's see how it works compared to the rest. Alright, so this is the darkest one. Hmm. Right, so this is the darkest one. It smells. It smells fruity. It smells like something. Some kind of a snack. Alright, oh here we go. Perfect. Now you can see it. So that's this shade. Then we have Glaming Coral. We got the Glosser Pros. Da -da -da -da. Beaming Strawberry. I think it was this one. And, and I don't know where's the other one. Either way, uh, so those are the shades. Let's see. You know what? Okay, let's go with the Glaring Coral on the bottom. On the bottom of my lips, I have the glaring color in the lustrous, in the stick form, and then on the top, and then on the top, I'm gonna apply this one. This shade I have on the top, and this one on the bottom. <laughs> they both feels really nice on the lips. They gives it the, okay. Their product glides smoothly. Mm -hmm. Now on my lips I have combinations of both. Okay, so that's the finished look using the drugstore products. And you know what? I do like the way how the look end up. It is a good job. Okay, see you next time. Bye.